Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and today I got you two new deck profiles to debut on this channel. And this is from the, this is, one of them is the Cater Sanctuary, um, Cerevsil, Cerevsil, um, I'm so sorry, I kind of butchered this name, this with the rings. Um, Cere, Cerevsil, Cerevsil, Cerevsil. Okay, the Cerevsil deck profile video, and this is one of the, um, Start decks, the new ones we gotten recently in the um, couple months collection, I think. It took me a little while to find the right formula, and I think it's just best to do all the um, all the support we got right now currently, and wait until the next couple sets to get the um, the new support and make this deck more better. If it makes any sense. This was debuted in the anime. I think it was featured with the owner uh, Akina Miyoto, and he is their new. Protagonist for Carfight Vanguard Divines. Quick backstory. Um, he is, I believe he's second year or third year. I do not know. I'll have to look him up his, on the scene pretty soon. But he's a high school student who's um, who has a sister who is currently sick. And his main wish is to make her um, feel a lot better, pretty much. So that's why he entered the Fated Clash. Like a small tournament featuring only six members from different nations. And at first, he wasn't really much of a card fighter, but yet he was chosen by the Fated One of Miracles, Raziel and Gabueles, to attend this Fated Clash to, you know, change fate, the course of fate or destiny. Actually, what am I saying? Destiny comes later in Season 2, which I'm guessing that's going to be a problem. We'll see what happens. But long story short, Akina has a friend named Nawa or Nawa. Um, I forgot her name, but her name is, uh, Noah, um, Inabi, I think her name is. She's a Dragon Empire, uh, player as well. I did her, um, last week, and I mentioned her a little bit about her, and she is the mentor of Akina. So she taught him how to play Vanguard with the trial decks right here. I'm pretty sure this is what Alnadal got started. Um, so, Yeah. Now, what this deck kind of does, uh, actually, let me hurry and check up the, let me look up the, the theme for Savio, because I know it's in here somewhere. Give me one second. I know I should have all this information down faster prior to this, but I didn't think. So, I'm sorry. Usually, I, <clears throat> usually I have all this all down pretty much, but in some cases, I do not. So I apologize. Let's see. Oh, here he is. Alright. Cerevsiel. And he has a similar ability to that of Raziel from the set one uh, B D Z B D one Fate Cloud collection. And according to this skill, it can revive allies from the drop with a power up. Also, its skill can get a persona ride in, into the next turn, allowing power up more than than more of the allies. I had to do a little research on that one, but yes. So all the grade threes pretty much have the same ability with the counter blast one of a cost. You search your, search your deck for another copy of the main grade three, add your hand, it gets and the Vanguard gets plus ten thousand power. Now I don't know if this is gonna be considered um, a break persona ride, I guess you could say, because back then when break ride was a thing, when you um, break ride on top of the unit of a break ride thing, you get plus ten thousand power and plus whatever ability it comes with. So I think that's what we're going to assume on. That's just don't quote me on that. But yeah. So let's go ahead and start with the deck profile video. We have Wings of Inspira Aspiration Sail or Soil. Soil, I think. Okay, so it's right there. And forgive me if there's a little bit of glare right like glare up here. My light is just literally right there. So forgive me for that, but I will show the the ride line and the cards for each grade, you know, just give you guys a better look on it. So, it's a nice little turn that I should do a little better. And I wish I had a desk, but nope, I don't. Now, for the grade one, we have Carrying Sage. So, I, in this ride line, we have two angels, one knight, and one sage. So, this is going to be like a random ass ride line. It's not a completely official ride line, but this is just something that is, you know, okay. When this unit... Unit is wrote upon by Knight of Claiming Silence, Swelfium. Look, reveal the top card of your deck. If it, if that card is a grade two or less normal unit, 
you may call the rear guard. If you did not call a card, put the reveal card into hand, just a card from your hand and discard it. That's the only skill that was actually not generic for every great one and two in these trial decks. So, but here's the, the generic one. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard, a Grade Three or Grade Vanguard with Serev Seal in its card name, this unit gets plus five thousand power. So that is the actual effect for all the the star decks with the Grade Ones. So these guys gain the boost while the Grade Twos gain the shield. And convenient enough, speaking of which, we have for Grade Two we have Knight of Calming Silence, Swiftlyum, Swiftham, Swifthelm. Swift him. Okay. It sounds like very Swedish or um, German. Um, when this unit is worked upon by a grade 3 or card with Swift Seal in his card name, choose up to one grade 3 or less card from your, from your hand and call the rear guard. If you call the card, draw a card. If you're, so that's the only non-generic effect we have these units have. Here's the main generic for grade 2s. If you have a grade 3 or grade vanguard with Swift Seal in his card, in his card name, uh, this unit gets 10,000 to the shield. I wonder why this is like not... Damn sleeves. I'm sorry guys. I have like dust on these and these things. So yeah. It's the main uh, continuous effect that these guys have. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, the main problem with that one. But the main effects, the auto skills, are very generic. Are not so generic. But the co continuous effects are... Uh, the next card we have is the main boss for the deck is Salvation Wing Angel Seraf Seal. Now its only effect that is different from the others is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Energy Blast 4. So a lot of these cards do require Energy Blast 4 for the main effects. Choose a grade 3 or less normal unit from your drop and call the rear guard. And it gets 10,000 power and 10 a turn. So that is what the main grade 3's uh, auto skill is. Now its active skill, like I said, Active skill, like I said, counter blast one, one turn only. Uh, select the, choose a card with the same name as the grade three, add to your hand, and get 10,000 power. Yada, 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 pretty much. And finally, for the last card we have, because it's a fifth card right deck, is the energy gener energy car card generator, which you do now need to enter the tournaments. And it's like a, like a, it's like an access card. You need to have... For the next format, you need to have this for all your, all your decks that you're playing. And the energy chargers. Um, shit, where do I put those damn things? If it does help, I'll show y'all. Because I did forgot to do this in my last video. You can have up to 10 copies of energy cards. So, basically what they look like is these guys. So, I know, they look like little can trailer bike candies. But yes, this is what they look like. And you can have up to 10 copies. I use the imaginary gift sleeves for these ones. And you can, you can have up to 10 copies. Because in the facts itself, um, Energy Blast 7, you can draw a free card. And once every uh, turn, you can Energy Charge 3. So, that's all you pretty much got to do. So, yes. This is the confirmed ride line for uh, Seraf CL right now. This is the... And we are using the full support in this deck. In this deck profile video <clears throat> and yes I'm using Tamari's uh, sleeves when she got from the start decks um, or in the boxes so I figure they hold more of the Keter Sanctuary feel more than uh, Toya's did just FYI okay now we have that out of the way let's go ahead and do the, the great zero lineup for our triggers, we're using most of the new uh, Star Deck stuff with a little added of the other collections. We're using four heal triggers, which is Bringer of Distant Sounds Arunus, which is a Sylph. I think it's a very cutesy kind of card, and it's perfect for all of them. Hence why, I'll be honest, I want all the Star Decks, like a multiple of these guys, because I want to have all the triggers, different ones, and for some reason, Direful Doll Bethany is a very expensive because of Direful Dolls, I guess? Or something else. I don't really don't know. Okay. Anyways, I'm a little off the range here. So the next one we have, we are using eight criticals. So we have the four copies of Chiv Chivimia, which is the cute little uh, critical trigger that we have, and one of the newest ones. 
once I get more money, I'm going to plan on buying more of these uh, start decks just so I can have all of it. If people, I know that sounds a little bit more greedy for me, but what can I say? I'd rather have all of it and give away some of the extras that I don't really need, you know. But it is what it is. Next, we have four copies of Blade for the Dragon, which is, um, if you, of course, it's our, one of the effect triggers. Um, when after the at the end of the battle, this unit boosted, you can put it in your soul and give your other units two thousand power. Of course, so it adds more soul to the fire, pretty much. I think this card is also very good for uh, Raziel, because I think it relies on soul blasting. But I can just double crap, double crap, double check. I can't. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I'm using, of course, three front triggers, which is Bard of Heavenly Song Alpac for the front triggers. And just because we want to rely on that uh, 20k shield as much as we can. And, of course, my choice of over trigger is a True Arbitrator Dragon of a Thousand Swords, um, Devolse. And the reason why I chose Devolse is because Armata Noah is a very basic kind of card. And I just love the artwork more on Devolse more than the Armata Nora. So that's why. But yes, that is the lineup. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see. Should I sp spread them out more or just leave it like how it is? But yeah, that's how it kind of looks. And yes, if you are asking like what happened to my um, my stand, well, the thread of my camera underneath is pretty much ruined. So I'm just going to leave it under my moisturizer box. I know, very basic. I know. And yes, we are using Seracio's sleeves because I feel like it's more of a fitting video if I actually do have them. Alright. <clears throat> Next for the grade ones. <clears throat> and we are maxing out of all the Seracio's support. So we are using three more copies of Carrion Sage. Just for the... Like I said, the only thing reason why this card should ever be run at a full blast pretty much is a continuous skill. During, as long as your Vanguard has Seracio in its card name... Plus 5,000 power to its attack. So it's a 13k booster, 13k attacker. Um, it pretty much just has an extra attack to you. It may not be able to intercept, but it's able to give you a little few more damages and make your opponent use up some more cards. But most of the time you use them just for boosting. And I am trying to stick with like the angel type theme to it, but it's very hard to do. So I have three copies of Medical Shot Angel. <sighs> And when this unit is discarded from hand during your riot phase, you may call this card to rear guard as rest. So three of her, because that's all you pretty much need right now. I mean, people can max out to four if they want to. But I think, you know, this is only good for the right the right phase. And so we're not doing a right phase right now. I don't see the point about just leaving it at full blast. Or at full. So I leave her at three. And you guys can be to tell us your own opinion about that. Um, the next thing we have is four copies of Noble of Glittering Staff, Seiya. She's actually one of the few cards that was vanilla in the start deck, so now we have the effect one here. When this unit boosts, if you have four or more units, Counter Blast 1, Energy Charge, Energy Blast 2, draw a card and this unit gets plus 5k power and stand in that battle. So, there's four of her. Um, I realize there are some of these Counter Blast and Energy Blast cards within the start decks themselves, hence why they're in there. Good options. And next we have four copies of Plenium Paladinium Zeal Dragon, just for the perfect guards. So you don't really need too many grade ones, just like certain ones that you need to, you know, go with and try something different. And I'm be waiting to see what the new support for Savasio um Cerevzio might be. So that'd be a good thing to think about. So that's the grade one lineup. Um grade two. <coughs> Sorry guys. Next we have three copy three more copies of Knight of Calming Silence Swellhelm for that 10k shield and just an extra interceptor as well. We have four copies of Knight of Rendering's Flash Care Brain because of the skill. And then we also have three more copies of Tolerance Wizard. When this unit is, when this card is discarded from the hand during your right phase. Then Soul Blast 2 and draw a card. So, like I said, this is like a 10k generic thing. This is my idea of a trial deck to begin with, if you really want to. Um, people can say, like, if you want for a competitive scene, you're going to spend a little bit more extra money on getting some cards. But these are, like, pretty damn cheap right now. So, 
I'm using everything at my disposal right now because this is a new format. So why not? And yes, there's right there. I know I sorry I didn't do that much with the grade ones, so I apologize. And finally for grade threes we have three more copies of Servacio just for the persona notification ability, persona ride. And then here is Servacio's partner. This is four copies of Varel Core Dragon. And when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, other than during the battle battle phase, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard or Servacio in his card name, Counterblast one of the top five cards in your deck, choose up to one grade three or less unit card from among them, call the rear guard, and shuffle your deck. Now here's his rear guard skill that is very similar. It's a one turn only. When this unit attacks, Soul Blast one. And this unit gets five thousand power into that battle. If a grade three or greater card with Servacio in his card name was Soul Blasted for this card, um counter charge one and energy charge three. Or or I'm sorry, or so you can choose between counter charging yourself or energy charge three. So instead of your usual soul charge, you're using energy charge for this deck. And I think that's a pretty damn good deal. Um, give or take. And then finally, my choice of a last grade three card, I'm playing three copies of Knight of War Damage Fasado, because we all know this lovely little collection right here. When this, this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects, when this unit attacks hits, counter charge one and soul charge one. So that's the, these are the units I selected, and I don't feel very ashamed of it one damn bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the deck profile video for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video I've made today. If you guys have any um, uh, questions to ask, feel free to ask down below. And if you guys like the content I do create on this channel, please subscribe, thumbs up for this content, comment down below. And see you for part two of the next deck profile video. And as always, I've been your host, Iron Frost, signing out.